My name is James Ward. I'm the Building Systems Manager here at the Temerty Discovery Center project. Uh, my role here is to manage all the electrical and mechanical trades on site. So a geothermal field is an area of land which utilizes a number of boreholes which we use to harness the thermal energy of the earth. There is a constant temperature at the bottom to use for heat exchange between our cooling and heating systems of the building. The bore field consists of 75 boreholes. Each one will go reach a depth of 850 feet at its design. The reason for that is that that depth, the earth has a constant temperature of around 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. Depending on what we want to do, whether heating or cooling, we can either raise or lower that temperature of the water in that system. Once the water comes in from the geothermal field, from the piping into the building and through the heat exchange, It'll go through all of its cooling units, all of your air conditioners, your IT room AC units. That water will come back at a warmer temperature back into the geothermal field, head down to the 850 foot depth where the temperature is much cooler. It'll cool that water, come back up into the heat and assist with cooling. There was two drills brought in by ACON in order to drill these holes at 850 feet deep. There are approximately 35,000 pounds of weight each. They can drill half a hole to one hole per day. We were averaging about three quarters of a hole, so 75 days pretty much to drill all the holes. As more equipment comes in after they've drilled the hole, in order to inject the hole with bentonite as they fill it around, grout around the pipes so the water doesn't come back up. So they have a grout machine to do that process. And then there's the horizontal pipe work, so just an excavator, plant taper. We were involved in pre-construction on this project for about two years before we started on this project, where we were able to look at all the planning, get some information from other geofields that we put in through the company, which is where we were able to try and plan out the location and the sequencing. There was a lot of things that we had to keep into consideration. Obviously, we're digging a big hole right beside where the geothermal is, so the forces that those rigs would apply on the shoring wall were one. There's also a heritage wall that runs all the way along the side, the east side of the geofill, so the protection of that heritage wall was paramount. So climate change is at the top of everyone's mind. You hear about it in the news every day. Everyone's trying to do their part. PCL and CAMH are no different. This building has been targeted for a LEED Platinum accreditation, and this geothermal field will help with several of those credits to achieve that status. Really good to see this on this project, the geothermal field, and I'd like to see it on future projects due to the benefits of the environment uh, doing our part for uh, climate change.